Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. The Lions have officially released their list of players that have been released from the union at the end of their contract or officially are moving in transfers or retiring um, at the end of the season. With the Lions having finished their season last weekend, not qualifying uh, for the uh, URC playoffs, their season has officially come to an end and as such they have been farewell to several players. The likes of Willem Alberts, for example, retiring, Emmanuel Stuka moving on, Henry Sergio and a host of others also moving on. But a very interesting omission was that there was no Jordan Hendricks listed in the official sort of exits um, in the post that was thanking the players for the season. And uh, it looks like he will still remain a Lions player for the time being. Now, before we explain exactly why this is the case, uh, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. So uh, we do know that Jordan Hendricks uh, and Emmanuel Stuka will both be joining their respective brothers down at the Sharks. It has been confirmed and nothing has changed um, as far as we understand with that situation. Um, so Emmanuel Stuka has a lift and his contract comes to an end, I think it's the end of this month. And uh, he'll be making the move to the Sharks where he'll join his brother Vincent who had a tough start but has really started to come into his own. Um, in the recent sort of few uh, months and uh, is very much looking at like like close to his best. Uh, other players who have left, for example, include Hanu Sergio, who's had a very nice uh, tournament. He has uh, joined a Pro D2 side, uh, Grenoble. Uh, we've even got the likes of Corne Free, who's apparently considering retirement. Um, Stephen Pinar, Travis Bourne, Anus Kutsia, Steve Batista Sanguini, Ruan Smith, uh, all have yet to confirm their moves, as well as the likes of Tyler Box, who is going to... Uh, the English Championship and joining Ealing Trail Finders. And then, as mentioned, Willem Alberts is retiring. Um, so the big omission was Jordan Hendrickson. Why was Jordan Hendrickson not listed in the official sort of thank you post and players who are moving on? And the reason for that is very simple, um, or it's very easy to explain. So basically what's happened is that the contracting system is currently changing within South Africa because previously players were contracted on a year-to-year -year basis. Back when we had Super Rugby, Carry Cup, we had Super Rugby sort of, you know, February through to, you know, June. And we had Carry Cup, which sort of finished in about October or November. And uh, the contracts would come to an end uh, at the end of December, basically. So it was a year-on-year -year contract, January to December, like, you know, most people's ordinary uh, contracts. However... With the change to moving to Europe, these contracts are starting to shift with the seasons officially shifting. So now we've got a URC season which starts in September, ends in June. And uh, so the, the old contracts didn't really work because you have players who suddenly were, you know, players who contracts were expiring midway through the season. And um, we've even seen players moving, uh, you know, during this sort of time. So slowly but surely, you know, as the contracts are all being updated and being re-signed, these contracts are all being shifted to start on like the 1st of July, basically expire at the end of June. So it will uh, last until the end of the URC. So it is for this reason, uh, Jordan Hendrickson's contract currently ends in December. Um, and as a result, he will not be moving to the Sharks at this stage, but as far as you understand, um, until the end of December, with apparently the Lions very keen on making sure that he sees out the rest of his contract, which means that he'll be available for the Lions for September, October, November, December. That's four months. So I can understand the Lions. You know, first of all, it's a massive loss. And uh, the Lions probably quite peeved with the fact that they keep getting ransacked by the Sharks. So um, he's got a contract until December. And uh, apparently the, the Lions are saying, well, you've got a contract, you've got to play it. Play, um, you've got to play it. And uh, I, I like that, to be honest. Yeah, first of all, he, he adds a lot to the team. And I think it's just a little bit of you know sticking it to, to some of the other sides, saying, listen, if you're going to come ransack us, fine. But you've got a contractual obligation. You will play for us until we say otherwise. Um, so... There is probably the last possibility, you know, I mean, I'm sure in previously, for example, we've seen clubs, you know, release players early, um, you know, sometimes, you know, people have, uh, especially like in football, you know, clubs would buy people out of their contracts early. So, for example, yeah, I don't know if that's an option where the Sharks can go and say, listen, we'll pay you out, you know, his salary for those four months so that we can have him here down here. Uh, but at this stage, Jordan Hendricks is officially still contracted to the Lions until December. And as a result, will remain a Lions player until the end of December. So that is why he's been left off the list. It's a, as I said, it's a pretty easy uh, explanation. It will be interesting to see how this, this does play out. Um, again, we, this is going to be one of those situations which won't happen uh, very, very often because the contracts are all starting to be aligned. But this all of a sudden could actually make things life a bit complicated for, for the Sharks because Kernbosch um, has left for a brief. Buddha Chamberlain has left for the Bulls. And Asiya Masuku, who is you know the player of the year, or players player of the year at least, he was voted in the Sharks award, he could potentially be on the Springbok radar. So if you've got Siya Masuku playing for the Springboks, that leaves them without Siya Masuku, no Kurin Bosch, 
no Buddha Chamberlain, and potentially no Jordan Hendrickson at the start of next season. So um, for all that the Sharks in you know, a fly-half depth was looking amazing, they can actually sign themselves in a bit of a, a hole coming the beginning of the next season, which would be, for me, quite amusing, simply because I'm very sour that they keep sending a lot of players. But um, so it's an interesting situation. Let me know what you think. You know, should the Sharks look at trying to get him out of his contract early? Should the Lions do the right thing and release him early? Uh, what do you think? Down in the comments below. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve, and I'll chat to you soon.